class and ID selector can offer us the precise control we want, but that precise control also comes at a price. Unlike the tag selector, you cannot use class or ID selector directly. You need to name a class or ID and then assign them to the corresponding HTML tags first. You get to name the class and ID, but use word, character and hyphen only. Word character means letters, numbers and underscore. And remember, never start a class name or ID with numbers. The class selector is made of a single dot and the class name. The ID selector is made of a hashtag and an ID name. Remember, single dot for class selector and hashtag for ID selector. To assign a class or HTML tags, you need to use the class attribute. To assign an ID, you use the ID attribute. Now let's try the class selector. First, we assign a class to the p tag we want to control. In the CSS code, we write down the class selector. Don't forget the dot. All CSS properties should be put inside the curly brackets. The same class can also be assigned to several HTML tags simultaneously, but the same ID can only be assigned to one HTML tag. The same HTML tag can have several classes assigned to it simultaneously, but one HTML tag can only have one ID. If you assign several classes to the HTML tag, you need to separate those classes using a white space. Remember, you use a white space here, not a semicolon or a comma. After a HTML tag has been assigned with a class or ID, that HTML tag will become traceable, meaning our CSS properties can be sent to it. 